Okay, welcome back. My name is Brian Midway and this is Danny. And um, we've, uh, this is the second uh, in a little series of video clips about um, what we call Discovery Bible Study. This is just a way of hearing from God through the Scriptures. We've taken a story from where? Mark chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. Okay, and all we've done for the moment is he's, Danny's read, I've listened. I read, he listened. Then he he told me the story in his own words and I checked him. And then I told the story in my own words and he checked me. And all of that is just so we make sure we get all the details of the story. And so if you watch that last video, you'll have seen how that is. And this is a little, um, a little uh, like in a normal Bible study, you wouldn't do that, would you? Because you just read it once and then you yeah. say things. So, so here we're wanting to keep the story as the context. But now we want to move from the the actual details of the story to a message from heaven you know so yeah. so Denny as we read this story about Jesus coming to where Peter uh, you know Simon and Andrew were and then James and John and uh, calling to them and then following him um, what what is the message from heaven that comes through this story as far as you're concerned the first message that I see is uh, Jesus is calling his, his people and I see Jesus still calling people to work for him. Okay. That Jesus was calling people then? Yeah. Yeah. And he was still calling people to become yeah. fishers of men. And and just let me say something about that mm. because th this is what I would call one thing is we've got historical detail here, right? That's yeah. what happened. Universal principle is you know uh, taking this out of a historical occasion, making this a principle for everybody. So would you say then on the basis of this story that Jesus is calling um, everybody to follow him in the same way as he called these disciples? Um, definitely. He's, he's calling each and every person. Yeah. Just like he's shown in the, in the passage. Yeah. It's just about uh, are we listening to it or not. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So, okay, so, so one, that's one of the things. We might... Well, and we might jot some notes down here if we had a little notebook or something to help us remember. But the first thing we might say about this is God is t wanting us to listen to Jesus um, uh, and, and that call to follow him that came to Peter and, and John, uh, James, uh, Peter and Andrew and yeah, James, James and John, and John um, that's the same call that comes to Brian and Denny. Yes. And so we then have to say, okay, Jesus, um, yeah. we hear you calling. We want to yeah. become followers of you yeah. or not. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, I agree with you. I, I think that's a, that's a message. So uh, at that point, we're faced with a decision. See, revelation requires a decision. Information yeah. doesn't necessarily require a decision. Because if you read the weather report today, yeah. that doesn't mean you have to make a decision. Yes. Or you might make a decision to take an umbrella. umbrella. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, you can read the weather report and you get the information, but it doesn't require anything of you, no. does it? No. But when Jesus comes and says, follow me, yeah. then you say, oh, you know, yes. now I have to figure out whether I'm going to follow him or not. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's, there's one example of the message. And, and so... We could, we could put that in the, in the mouth of God and say, God says, will you follow my son Jesus? And we have to say, yes, God, or no, God. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we, we want to say yes, God, don't we? Because we want to follow Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but it wouldn't be, there'd be people who would hear this message and choose not to follow Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Well, what else do we know about this call to follow <laughs> Jesus as it comes from this story? Um. The next thing that I see is uh, the decision of Simon and his brother Andrew. Like there's two people. You usually both two people have got different ways of dealing with different things. Mm. They have different characters. Mm. But they come to a decision and together and then they don't there is nobody telling each other uh, creating any doubts but without any hesitation just Yeah, they just following. went. Yeah. They didn't consult. No. They didn't have a committee. No. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say, let's bargain a bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this guy is right or not. Yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So, and so that also would be something that you think is a word from heaven. Yeah, because um, nowadays, if we get any message from God, we might have a doubt whether it is from God, and we try yeah. to consult. And usually, what happens is it gets discouraged. We get yeah, some. Yeah. The challenge. We always, yeah. It's always challenged. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Plenty of things to challenge. Yeah. And so, so the second thing it might be here is that these, these guys heard this message and just responded without any condition or, or you know, they left everything. Yeah. They did that. And so this says something amazing because like if somebody stood before me and said, follow me, just if somebody walked in the door, yeah. and well, I'd be saying, well, I want to know what the conditions are, how much I'm going to get paid, da, 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 da. Yes. Well, so... I think this says says about the quality, the quality of Jesus person, because this is Jesus who's making the call. It's not just some you know person. This is Jesus, the Son of God, and so you know he's worth following. So we don't say, "Wow, they were foolish to follow him." It was just that they, when they saw Jesus, who he was, and that he was the Son of God, and he was he was somebody worth following. So they, you know, yes. so if somebody said to you. You know, if you follow me down the road, I'll give you a thousand bucks. And and you said, well, let me think about that. Everyone's going to say, no, Danny, you know, just go get the thousand bucks. Yeah. See, so w when when we hear them just leaving everything and following, we don't say, oh, you foolish people. Because that's a worthy thing to do, isn't it? Yes. It's worthy because of who Jesus is. Yes. So there's another message. Yes. Hmm. So, you know, so here we are, we're getting this message. And the, the thing we need to do now, which we won't do on the video, but which you can do yourself, and we'll, we, we're doing this ourselves, is to say, okay, what do I need to do to respond to this message? So it would be fair. If I was sitting with you and you didn't know Jesus and I'm telling you this story, I'd be saying, Danny, do you want to follow Jesus like they did? That would be a simple one, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, and you can say yes or no, yeah. but that's what the story says, so... And so I could say, you could say, yeah, I want to follow him or no, I want to think about it or whatever. But it would be fair for me to say to you or you to say to me, you know, do you want to follow Jesus like that? So this is a very sharp uh, little encounter, isn't it? Yes, mm. it is. Yeah. So I'm, we're going to pray now and because you're watching the video. And Father, we, we, uh, we just want to thank you for this story. And this happened once uh, in a... Uh, different, very different place from this, but Jesus, you are still here. You're still saying the same thing. Follow me and I will make you to become fishes of men. So we want to follow you and we want to become fishes of men. And if you'd help us by the Holy Spirit, we, you could do that. We, we'd love you to do that. Amen. Amen. Okay.